these are the two drain taps. That's what we call grey water, that's all your sink water, shower water that you've used etc. That is actually open at the minute because it's parked on the drive and there's a drain there. I'll just leave that open all the time while it's on the drive so nothing will come out of that. That is the fresh water tank. Just literally spin it round and that'll drain out. And then I'll do the boiler. Right, so it's always better to uh, actually drain down the, um, the fresh water tank first before you open any of the taps because the pump will just keep running and emptying the taps out from the, from the fresh water tank even though you've actually drained the tank or are draining the tank I should say. So just, you know, depending on how much water you leave in, leave your blue tap open and just let it crack on with itself. You can possibly hear on the video the water draining away. And then open all your taps individually on both hot and cold because if you open the hot one it'll help drain the uh, boiler down as well. If you see that little hole that's the boiler drain I'll just flip the yellow tap now. Just literally rotate this tap. You see? I've even drawn on the top open and closed. I'll just turn the pump on. Got the taps open, you can hear the pump running. Literally just drain out everything that we can. That's it, it's stopped coming out the taps now. I'll just leave them on the open position. All good. See, if you open the taps one at a time, you can see it pumps in out of each one, still draining the shower one out there. So it's the same process as filling it really. I always do each tap individually. Always remembering that uh, you know it's, it's different pipelines and it's not pressurized like a house feed. So the pump's got to pump what's left in the pipes out to certain areas. You can see, even though your tank's drained, there's still quite a bit of water coming out. one stop now as well. I know a lot of people advise pulling the um, the shower head out and leaving it low down on the floor. To me that seems pointless in this setup because the pipe obviously comes from low down anyway, rises up and then back low down so you're still going to have a low point. I'm sure that's more for if you've actually got a shower point that's that's mounted up high that you could leave low but when it's a tap shower head combined like this I've drained it out as much as I can and the taps are open so as far as I'm concerned pulling that out on the floor would still make any not not any difference at all really it would um, still have a low point where it connects to the pipe work further down so to me I'm leaving it like that it's uh, surprising how long it actually continues to empty out the system when you think it's empty, if you keep adjusting your taps to hot versus cold, etc., etc., it empties out a lot more than you think. So don't just assume that opening the yellow valve will actually drain the system completely. I've got the hot tap open in the kitchen now, so the pump is running. And it's also still firing water out of the uh, drain there. If I shut the hot tap off now, that'll actually stop. So it's always best to just go through as many options as you can 
and just keep forcing as much water out as you can. 